Welcome to a video where we're going to be talking about your cat pet and how we can get started with our phase one. And the very first thing that we're going to need to do is create our folder structure. So let's go look at how we can get that all set up nicely so that we can get all the marks. In the pet document, the very first thing that you need to do is to create a suitable folder structure. You want a main folder. Your teacher may tell you how to name this because obviously they're going to know how your network works and for, in order for them to be able to extract that. And then we need a folder for each phase and subfolders for the different things that we're going to be doing in those phases. And the names of the folders and files must be meaningful. So, so we will create the folders, but make sure that your file names are also meaningful. Please say know that the documents that you create and the evidence that you collect must be saved in the appropriate folders. The documents and folders must be organized in an easy way to navigate. And it is your responsibility to make backups of your work in case something goes wrong. Let's pretend this is the storage drive that you're going to be storing your pet on at, at school. We can start creating folders. So we're going to right click and go new folder. Or we can click over there and make a folder that way. Now the first folder will be the folder which contains everything for the pet. So your teacher will tell you exactly what that will entail. Sometimes you will be told to make it your name followed by something else. You will follow the instructions of your teacher. So I'm just going to call it Mr. Long Cat Pet for 2025 Grade 12. Whatever your teacher tells you to do, that's the folder that you will make. What I would also do over here is to create another folder called Backup. And I'll come back later to explain what we're going to do there. Another thing I would add to the storage drive, not inside the pad folder, but over here, if you look at my pad guide, just remember this pad guide is going to help you with all the things you need, all the videos that take you step by step through each phase. Make sure that you download it at tinyurl.com slash cat. And one of the things I mentioned in this pad card is my progress tracker. So if I just click over here, you can have this document which can help you keep track of everything. You can say what you've done on what date. So to get the pad tracker, you can't use it from the Google Drive. It's view only, but you can come here and download your own version. So we want to download the Excel one. And I placed it in my storage drive, not inside the pad folder, but just inside it. And so when I click on it, I can enable editing, I can fill in my details, I can fill in the date, so for today is the 9th of February 2005, so I've got the current date, and we can specify tasks that we've completed or still working on, on each day that we work on the pad, just to see how much we've got. So let's go back over here, we want to create in our pad folder, so now we're going to go inside here, and we're going to create a folder for each phase. I'm going to create one for phase one, phase two, and phase three. Now inside phase one, I'm going to create a folder for my report. And then I'm going to create one for my sources. This is where I'll put all the evidence for my research in. And this is where I'm going to put my actual first document. In the phase two, we're going to create one for our questionnaire. Create one for our spreadsheet. And another one for the database. And then in our phase three, we're going to create our final report. And then we're going to create one for our website. By doing that, we should have our structure all done nice and neatly. So when I come here to my progress tracker, I can say the 9th of Feb, we've done our folder structure. I can say it's completed. And there we can see that task is done. We've done 8% technically of our pet. And then we can continue with the rest. So use this progress tracker to guide you on what you did on what day. Keeping track of everything, making sure that you get through everything. Take note that there's a tab for each phase. So you can really use this to help you keep focused and on track. So remember to get this from the link from the pet guard. So that way we've done all of this part of the pet. And when we get to the end of the phase three, we should then get these marks over here. As long as we save all our files to the written folders, we've got a nice logical folder structure. It's easy to find and navigate and the names of our folders are meaningful. Make sure that your files are as well. And then you'll get all four marks at the end of your phase three. Now, just to talk about the backup folder, what I would do is after every couple of days that you've worked on the pad, I would come here and right click on your folder and copy it and then double click on the backup option and then paste a copy of your folder over here and then rename this to the current date. You can't use forward slash in your file name, so use dashes instead. Oh, two, and let's say this is the 12th of February. Then the next time you've worked a couple of days on your pad, you can make a copy. Come to your backup and paste the copy over there and rename this one. 
to whatever date it will be. Let's say it's the 19th. Let's say you're doing it once a week. And this way you create a backup of your patch, multiple backups, not only to show your progress, but if something goes wrong, you can go back a week or two weeks or three weeks and you can see the life cycle of your patch. So this is very important. It might not get you extra marks, but if something goes wrong, at least you're not going to waste time having to redo anything. So great, Charles. I think you've done the first part. So let's move on to the next bit. In order to get the best mark for your patch, you need to be a subscriber at Mr. Long IT and Cat. That way you won't miss whenever we post a new video. Also on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And together we can get a great mark for your patch. And not do it the long way, but do it the Mr. Long way.